Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the Ludum Dare. Ludum Dare is a huge game jam competition that has two parts. What has just ended was the compo, which is a little different. Um, basically, you had to be solo and release source, and it's just a bit harder. It's less time. It's only 48 hours. There's also still the jam that's going on, and that's, um, you can have teams, a bit more relaxed, and you also get 72 hours. This time's theme was Connected Worlds. I'm not going to be playing all of the games because submissions has only been open for 20 minutes, and there's over 1,300 games. So, if you'd like me to play your game, then you can check the description. The first link after the list of all the games is going to be a link to a submission sheet that you can put your game into and then I'll play it. Um, but other than that, if you want to check out any of the games, there'll be links in the description. I'll be playing each game for a minute. If you want to stalk me on Twitter, Twitch TV, or play.me, links are also in the description. And thank you very much for watching. Next. Next we're playing the game 13 Minutes of Light. Do you snub bugs? The day after she left, I finished an old ball I fished an old ballpoint pen out of my bag, found one of the many notepads lying around my apartment, and started writing my first letter to the girl that went to Mars. Welcome to 30, 13 Minutes of Life. In this game, you'll be shooting aliens or jumping platforms. Platforms to be writing letters. Yay, so I won't be doing that. This game will show you letters, and you get to choose how the hero of your story writes them. Will you be clingy? Will you play it cool? It's up to you. Depending on how you write, the game will take a different ending. Okay. Spook. Spookalums. If you have told me a year ago that the girl I met at Meg's party would end up living on at my place and would then end up flying to Mars, I would have laughed at your face. Guess life's pretty strange, huh? Let's be honest. If my calculations, read Google Answers, are correct, you've been traveling through space for the last three months now. I hope you arrived at Mars, okay? I'm writing this pretty much the day after you left. It's strange, realizing that it'll take you very long to reach you. Do you get space sickness? Space really th Is space food really that bad? I think of you every time you eat a grilled chicken, you know? Damn, writing down smiley faces feels really, really stupid. I wish I could afford light speed email, but rather they ask is exorbitant, like, but rathers. Also, just wait in your inbox at Mars for months. Just be accepting. I'd be lying if I said I would rather have had you here, but I know we'll get through it in the next few years. It's just kind of weird writing this letter by hand, but I guess it isn't that bad. Well, typing would be faster. It's not like the speed is of the essence here. Well, it is, but there really isn't much we can do about it. Right, this is just a quick letter before I've had to work. <clears throat> Expect more. Love, Jack. That was my first letter I wrote to Elizabeth, one of the many parts of our correspondence. Later, we read through all of them and cringe at ourselves. She told me she thought of what I wrote. Last story, I promise. After you've written a letter, the game will tell you how Elizabeth liked <clears throat> by showing how it was. Red text, no, go over all green did. Yellow does something to the story, but what? This is pretty cool, but I have to say next. Next. Next, we're playing the game Awake. I don't actually know how to play, though. Hmm. This kid just got hit by a star. I can think. I can move. Who is this? Did I just take her heart? I don't know if I don't want it. What's that I'm feeling? Where am I going? Going up. Up, up. Awake. Next. Next, we're playing the game Sneaky Ness. Nessie. And she's like the Loch Ness monster. Nessie. Hmm. There we go. Alright, so arrow keys, shift, toggle. Huh, it doesn't seem like my browser wants to play this game. Apparently, it doesn't support it, which is weird because I've played libgbx, but apparently my web doesn't want to support it past level one. So, that sucks. There's nothing I can really do about it other than 
hope it works, but it's clearly not. So next, next, next we're playing the game Closure. A and D to move, W jump, mouse to shoot. Okay. Okay. We'll shoot everything from this spot and then we'll move. I don't actually have a D key. Awkward. Alice in Wonderland's actually on TV, and I'm kind of sad that I'm missing it, so it's on in the background. Oh, I thought I could jump over that. Area cleared. Let's enter a portal, because why not? So I guess we're... Wait, am I supposed to jump, like, up there? Nah. Wish I could duck. Wow, there's a lot of you. Chill out, people shooting at me. Rope, oh, like, landed right on their faces. Alright. Alright, next. Next, we're playing into the shadows. Wow, there's a lot of instructions. There is a rumor that there is an abandoned school that was built in a portal in another world. Your friends dare you to go inside, but just after you enter, the door disappears in thin air. Soon you realize that if you concentrate, you can slip into the other world. Armed with only a flashlight, you must use your ability to go between worlds to find the key and leave the school alive, but you don't let the shadows overwhelm you. WSD, mouse, space bar, F, escape. Instructions, the bar at the bottom of the screen represents how far you are in the other world. If it fills up entirely, you'll be overcome by the shadows and die. The key can only be seen <coughs> and obtained. When you're in the world and some doors fit, blah, blah. Can't read all that. Okay. Oh. Oh, I don't like scary games. Let's try again. Scary games. It's scary. like flashlight oh I don't quite understand what that dot above me is doing I totally read the game maybe this is just hard if I hold on space bar I die if I don't I die next next we're playing the game dino bolt okay These guys are fucking. You oh, we died. World traveling zookeepers. This is really nice. Dude, can we jump? Can we jump? Can we jump? No. We just go left and right. This is like Flappy Bird, but like up and down. It's really cute. I like it. Make a pretty good Android game. Ship. Play one more. Is there a way to tweet your score? Can I tweet my high score? I like tweeting my high scores and stuff. Bet you there is. There's Facebook, there's Twitter. I only killed one of them! That was interesting. I thought that was Facebook for whatever reason, it was totally Twitter. I'm gonna show that. Next! Next, we're playing the game Pipelines. Target B A O H. Wait, so, okay, so we can kind of like B A. How do we switch this? I just have no idea what I'm doing. Hmm. B A O H. So all these F's need to go. We need a B and an A and O and H. A. So the C can become an A, maybe? God. I really. I read the instructions, too. So it's just like right, right mouth button for upper pipe, left for lower pipe. So wait. I'm gonna make auto dumb, auto dumb green. Green, green, green. 
all green. You make the whole top pink. Done. Next. Next, we're playing the game Gravicom. And uh, help. Let's uh, choose level. Level 1. Do you see that red planet and that green planet? Each of them hosts one advanced civilization. They live in peace and wish to trade, but on the way between them, there are many ob space objects that interfere with trade shuttle direction. Will you help the shuttle get to get from the red planet to the green one? Use the mouse to rotate the shuttle. Mouse, I don't have a mouse wheel. Fuck. Okay. This will be interesting. I don't have a mouse wheel. Ugh. Come on. Did it. What well, very well you've made it, but the universe is not static, you know? Before the next shuttle could start using your navigation data, other planets, traveling objects in your way, blah blah blah. Alright then. This is kind of the way you want to go. Did it. Next. <coughs> Next we're playing a game that doesn't quite fit on my screen called Linker. Create a link, click and drag worlds. Okay. That's it. Ah, oh, I see there's stuff happening. So we're shielding the other planet. Oh, we only have one link at a time. So that arrow is probably going to tell us where it's coming from. Alright. Then we have those covered. Alright, next. Next we're playing Boy and Dog in the Mysterious Portal, and man, it's got a lot of keys. W A S D Q E and one two three four. Okay, and then Dog's got like this is a two-player game. There is no way one person should do all this. Anyway, how do I continue? Anger. Hello, player. I like the graphics. Hello, player two. Oh, that's good. It has a key map come up. I don't really need to have, like, someone live with me forever so that they can just play two player games with me. Try to solve that puzzle. Oh, shit. Alright, we need, like,. Push all the buttons. I don't know. Next. 